Hello, welcome to Bulkwise. Today, in this video, we will show you how to create a WhatsApp chatbot based on a keyword replies. Now, let's see how to create a WhatsApp chatbot based on keyword replies. For that, you need to go to Bulkwise dashboard. From the Bulkwise dashboard, click the bot manager. Select the bot account for which you need to create the WhatsApp chatbot. Then click on bot reply. Here you can see some of the created chatbots. To create a new one, just click on create. Instantly an editing page called Visual Flow Bot Builder Canvas will appear here. On the left side, you can see several components which can be used in our bot. And right side you have four more options. To start a bot flow, just double click on the bot flow. Here you need to give the keywords for which the bot need to be triggered. Like I am giving hi, hello. Then you will get two more options exact keyword match and a string match. This exact keyword match works when the customer types in the exact keyword which we have set to be triggered. And string match works in the case when the customer gives a sentence containing a keyword. For example, if the customer types in hi good morning, so the sentence contains hi. So automatically the bot will be triggered. So in our case, I am giving as exact keyword match. Then give a title for your chatbot. Then you will be having a two options. One is called add labels and one another one is remove labels. In add labels, you can add the labels which you have created and which you want to be added in this WhatsApp chatbot. Now in our case, I am selecting the leads label. Then after that, you will be having two more options regarding this subscribe to sequence, unsubscribe from sequence and webhook URL. We'll talk about this in a different video. So now we'll jump on to the next option called assign conversation to a group. You can assign this conversation to a specific group now in our case I am not selecting any group and you will get an another option next to that like you can assign this conversation to a specific user now I will select the user to be myself then after filling all this I will just save now our whatsapp chatbot is ready to begin Just drag uh, the next message socket and drop it down in the canvas. You will get a multiple options which you can use in our chatbot. And whatever you create under this next message will be sent to the user even if they don't reply to you. Once they trigger the keyword, all the messages that are created under next will be delivered without their replies to. I will show you first example with text uh, to create to create a text message just double click on the text you will get a configure text message model to your left here you can type the message which you want to send to the user and once you use this name button automatically the customer's name will be typed here and after this you can set at what time do you need to reply to the user now I am keeping the delay in reply as 0 seconds so that as soon as the customer types in the keyword this text message will be delivered to them now after this I will just save this
and I'll compose the next message by dragging the next socket and dropping it on the canvas. This time I'll use image to insert an image just double click. You'll get two options like you can paste the URL of the image or else you can upload the image from your local machine too. I'll keep the delay in reply as 0 seconds and then save it. So our image message is also ready. So next I'll give you an example in video. For video also you'll get two options like to paste the URL of the video or else you can upload the video from your local machine. Next I will show you an example in audio. So uploading an audio file is as similar as to image and video. Here also I will upload an audio from my local machine. And next comes file. In file option you will be having multiple options to upload as a media like you can upload all the media types including document, pdf, text, ppt and all kind of excel files. So after uploading the media file I just save it and we will go to next template message. This template message is nothing but the messages we have created as a template previously for various purposes and the template message will appear here only if the bulk wise approves that. So all the approved template message will be shown here. You can select any of the template message which you want to add in this WhatsApp chatbot. Next is the most interesting part of this WhatsApp chatbot feature. We are going to create an interactive message which is a result of combination of the separate image message and text message. Till now we have created a separate image message and separate text message. In this interactive feature you can combine these two in a single message itself. So. To create an interactive message, just click on this interactive message and double click on that. You will get a configure text message to the right side of the canvas. You will see a message header, message body and message footer as an options in this and you can also delay your message accordingly. A message can be sent without any header or footer but you must fulfill the message body in order to send an interactive message and you can also choose your message header style you can keep your message header as a text or as an image too in our case I am keeping my message header as an image and type the message body according to your business requirements. Now after filling these details, I am just saving it. After saving this, you will get three sockets in this interactive component, naming next buttons and e-commerce. First we will see about next. This next socket is nothing but the same thing which we have created till now. By pulling this socket you can 
add other messages like we have added till now and next is the buttons if you are creating a button you can create at at most of three buttons at a time this is an example for buttons so to create a button just double click on that give a name to your button and when the customer presses the button you can choose what action to be done now i'm selecting the send message action for my first button and in my second button i will insert an chatbot which i have created previously to do that just select start of flow action and under the flow name select the chatbot which you want to insert in this button so by doing this you are inserting a chatbot inside a button seems interesting right so next for third button i'll keep send a message as an action so after creating these things you can prolong your chatbot till wherever you want next is e-commerce feature regarding this i will explain you in a different video so successfully we have created a whatsapp chatbot so successfully our chatbot has been saved so let's look how it is working so i am typing in the keyword let's see how the reply comes i have got my first text message and continuously i have got my image text this is the message template audio file video file and media file these are the buttons and this is the example of the interactive message i got my image header body of the message and footer and the buttons so if i click the first button i'll get the action for that if i click the second button i'll get the next action for that likewise you can use whatsapp chatbot feature likewise you can use your whatsapp chatbot in different ways and boost your business to the next level thank you for watching the video i'll meet you in the next one bye